Let's look at dissolving barium sulfate, a sparingly soluble solid, in water. If we try to dissolve it and a little tiny speck remains, say about a milligram rem remains in the bottom, what's the best way to dissolve that additional milligram? Should we add some 0.1 molar H2SO4, some 0.01 molar barium chloride, or straight water? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, adding a strong acid helps dissolve solids. B, barium ions from the salt help the solid dissolve by associating with other barium ions in solution. And C, dilution with more water always provides some aid in dissolving solids. Think about those three for a minute and make a selection. We're looking at barium sulfate in water and dissolving a tiny milligram speck and the most efficient way to do that. Should we add some acid, H2SO4? Should we add barium chloride, BaCl2, or water? Well, if you look at the reaction for barium sulfate solid dissolving in water, barium sulfate forms barium ions and sulfate ions. So if I were to add, say, a barium chloride solution, barium chloride is a very soluble salt, so that breaks down 100% essentially into barium ions and chloride ions. So what you would be doing is adding an ion in common with an ion you already have there. And by Le Chatelier's principle, that would force the equilibrium back towards the solid. That would inhibit the formation of more ions. What you want is more ions to get this to dissolve. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4, the same thing, you're going to add more sulfate ions to solution. If you add more sulfate ions to solution, again, you inhibit the equilibrium. So in this case, the best strategy is simply add more water, increase the concentration, that gives you diluting these concentrations, making them smaller. By Le Chatelier's principle, I'll shift to make these concentrations higher again. So in this case, Add more water to dissolve a one milligram speck of barium sulfate.